Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Favor. Favor is a lift. It can take ordinary men, ordinary men, to enviable places, opening doors by favor. Listen, when the favor of God rested, watch this, when the favor of God rested upon the man called Peter, and that came through the prayer of the saints, because one of the ways that we access favor is by praying favor-provoking prayers. They were about to kill him, but the Bible says, but prayer was made of the church unto God for him. And when an angel came, the Bible says the bands loosed on their own. And the angel started leading him through doors. And the doors started opening on their own. When it is favor, doors can open on their own. They passed the first door, the Bible says. He came to the second door. Then the Bible says he came to the iron gate that leads to the city. That is the door that leads to influence. The moment that door is open, all you see is the city. Every city has iron doors. Let me tell you the truth. It takes favor for men to love you in this wicked world. People are too concerned about their matters. Whatever will make people forget about the affairs of their lives and turn to you investing their resources, their credibility, their attention must be divine. But when favor is upon you, even Ahasuerus will not resist you. Favor works on all men. The Bible says in Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, the B part, it says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. No wonder Jesus increased in wisdom. Are you seeing these elements of true riches? In stature. And he also increased in favor. He had the audacity to lose somebody's donkey and said, If they ask you, tell them. The master had need of it. Without favor, that is jail immediately there are risks you cannot take except and unless you verify if there's favor upon your life esther do not stand before ahasuerus until you verify that you are carrying the favor of god hmm. there's no time to begin to tell you stories of god's faithfulness credited to his manifest favor but I can tell you, if you speak to Apostle Goodhart and Pastor Bimbo and several leaders here, they will tell you that many strides in their lives are directly credited to the favor of God. I hope you know there are two dimensions to favor. There is favor with God. There is favor with men. You need both. That's why the Bible teaches both. Favor with men grants you access to the doors here in the cosmos i don't know how people live without the favor of god i sincerely do not know how people live without the favor of god proverbs 13 15 good understanding the bible says procureth favor it says but the way of the transgressor is hard 13 15 good understanding give it favor but the way of the transgressor is hard you came here this morning to access greater doors and i have shown you by the spirit that these doors do not just open as a matter of will and desire there are forces in the kingdom that control these doors the door that stands close before you can be opened but not under any and every condition. Listen, doors open under certain conditions. Your assignment is to create those conditions by the Spirit, whether it's through the use of right keys, whether it's by knocking, whether it's by supernatural force. But when you now begin to move the realm of greater doors, you need higher levels of light. That means you must make a commitment this year. No missing church, no matter what, my heart is open to learn. Because everything you receive here, they are not just admonishments, they are keys given to you. Keys. 
that by the end of this year you will hold these mysteries like a bunch of keys like chariots and you can you stand before several doors and you just keep swinging them open because of higher light and then faithfulness faithfulness from where you are be faithful faithfulness and then of course number three favor ah this grace must come on you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the only way i can describe favor is it's a sad description but is how a charm works you know how someone would tie something or swallow something all this labor that people go through and then you find people behaving to them in a certain way i'm not supposed to bless you but why am i thinking about you no people don't just think about you they are made to think about you otherwise mordecai would have been rewarded immediately what was responsible for the forgetfulness of mordecai what was responsible for the forgetfulness of joseph that the wine presser say i remember my wrong that means it's wrong to forget good people but there is a spirit that is responsible for forgetfulness like many people have forgotten you you have been part of the lives of many people and right now they cannot even remember you when it's time to enjoy the spoils the bible says the person who watched over the instrument while you went for war and the person who brought back the good together they they have they have a stake in the share why have you been forgotten rejection is a mystery that can be explained in scripture it says where thou has been forsaken so that no man will pass through you i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations hallelujah where your life becomes beulah and hefzibah a delight he spoke about his son he said my son the smell of my son is like a field that the lord has blessed hallelujah we're going to pray have a few minutes to wrap up and i'm going to allow you to pray and cry to the lord maybe for the next one or two minutes i'd like you to just imagine that you are alone with jesus in this auditorium and you are going to cry your heart lord here at this conference there are doors that i need to access there are levels there are realms the presence of the door that stands before you is a sign that you are you are wrapping up a season for some of you spiritually speaking there are seasons that are coming to an end some of you financially speaking there are seasons that are coming to an end even as a nation this election is a door you see that leads to another season we are going to pray wherever you are, i want you to i don't i leave you to your maker for the next one or two minutes please cry your heart let it be from the depth of your heart no distraction Cry to the God of heaven. Shabrende ke parakatos ke belikatia. Shande bekate pakato prakatos ka lege de vrasiata. Access to greater doors. Access to greater doors. Access to greater doors. Greater doors in ministry. He said a great door and an effectual is open before me. Someone is praying. Shagrekete beleke to paskatia, kraba kata baraka te bereke tos kata prende ke beleke tos, shali ke prende ke barusia taba lakatosia ta. I contend for light, higher levels of spiritual illumination, granting me access to higher realms, higher realms, higher doors. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, cry for the grace to be faithful. Cry for the grace to be faithful. Faithful in ministry. Faithful in business. Faithful as you serve. Is someone praying? Cast away the spirit of rebellion. Cast away the spirit of unfaithfulness.
please pray Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim He pray Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place Ala shalagada barakosiada Rua Elohim Rua Elohim Rua Elohim Rua Elohim Rua Elohim Rua Elohim Feel this land Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Now I like you to cry for the grace and the mantle for favor. Lord, like never before, let it rest upon my life. Mention your children, mention your spouse, mention your business, your ministry by name and declare that this grace for favor, like a garment, let it rest upon you. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Favor can come upon men. They can have access to this true riches called favor. 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 Favor after the order of Esther. Favor after the order of Nehemiah the cupbearer. Greater open doors. Let doors be open. Let doors be open. Let doors be open for the next level of kingdom influence. Let doors be open in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Listen. The manifestation of the anointing and the gifts of the spirit are also controlled by doors you can be a prophet an apostle a pastor but according to Ezekiel 47 the Bible talks about a river that came from the east side of the temple Please, I want you to listen and that he measured a thousand cubits these are exact dimensions and the river came and it was to my feet he would have stopped there the river was already flowing but he measured a thousand cubits again and it was to my knees and he measured a thousand cubits the third time and it was to my loins the fourth he said was an overflowing river there are realms in the spirit some of you are operating in the prophetic but at the level you are operating in it will make you look like you are a fake prophet because you are not seeing anything and you are not hearing anything 
there's need for greater doors to be opened. There are some of you, there are dimensions of kingdom wealth that God wants to trust you in. You are already celebrating the little that you have seen. No. God is talking about feeding nations. Lifting up the name of Jesus where you come and literally run the yearly budgets of ministries without making noise. And say, this is my contribution for this year. And that is it. Cry yet saying, thus saith the Lord, my cities through prosperity shall be spread abroad and I shall yet comfort Zion. Hallelujah. We are talking about being trusted. These are not realms of wealth that come by transaction. No. These are realms of wealth by fraternity with spirits. There are different levels of wealth. There is wealth that comes by transacting value for predefined prices. You call that business. There are levels of wealth that comes as appreciation for freely dispensing value. But we are talking about these mysterious dimensions of wealth. The by this time tomorrow order of wealth. The order of wealth that Satan proposed to Jesus. Bow to me and I will give you. That one is not sell a product. You bow and you are given. There are many people who God is trusting in this end time. Not for making noise and jumping up and down and causing a nuisance to society. No. His last treasurer disappointed him. He's still looking for treasurers. Since his last treasurer disappointed him, he's still looking for treasurers. For someone, you came to church this morning and I'm speaking to you prophetically. Just jump in, I'm a kingdom financier. He's wonderful, but it doesn't work that way. There are realms beyond realms of transaction. You bow to spirits and you are given the keys of nations. So Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? What you transact with is your soul, not your products, your soul. But many of us that God is raising to be kingdom financiers, you have never given one naira to any church. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not asking you to give money. I'm only speaking to you that you are not faithful there. No, it's impossible. God cannot be mocked. Ladies and gentlemen, there are people, the amount of offering you were given as a student and when you started working is still what you are giving till now and you are a director. I'm not, we are not by God's grace God we are not talking about manipulating people but the truth is still the truth you see that there are some of you if you give God less than certain amounts heaven should query you and say you are not sincere look at what you are wearing look at what you are doing no because the truth is that where your treasure is so that's where your heart will be too hallelujah is that true So we're going to pray because there are people here there needs to be an activation of higher levels of graces a command of superior levels of wisdom the wisdom you operated with as as an entry staff now you are an executive director you operate at that level of wisdom your business or your company is going down for sure you will need access to the eyes and the ears of the spirit because it is at that realm, the Bible says, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. He says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Dangerous things don't appear dangerous. It's later in the journey you will see. You need more than instincts. You will need more than experience. You will need the wisdom of the spirit. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way it says, walk ye in it and you will find rest for your soul. I want to stand in faith and partnership with the angels, the apostles over this house and I, Apostle OPC and her dear husband and every servant of God who is here to from the depth of my heart to pray and make certain declarations over your life and I want you to receive it. 
in this kingdom mysteries are transferred through words he blessed them saying not he blessed them wishing not he blessed them giving words words ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 2 the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet the spirit entered into me when he spake not before he spake at the point of speaking the spirit entered me the difference between a lecture and a spiritual communication is that there are transference of spirits hallelujah many of you have been in this city for a long time and the gates have not opened up i don't mean to embarrass you but you need to be angry on, on when you are comfortable with certain realms you are short-circuiting the potential of the graces and the anointings that are here present and here in this ministry blessing you there are possibilities you have seen god produce in the life of his servant that are not yet part of your life no if you stand to take a shower and for a long time water is pouring only on your head and it does not touch your body and yet you are in the middle of the shower there must be witchcraft on that shower is that true because if it touches your head the, even the feet is comfortable because it must reach it there how come there's such a shower a downpour even for those who are strangers and then for you who is part of the fold some things are not speaking no no it says ye are all partakers of my grace but you see there is a law of spiritual reception you don't receive anyhow there is a protocol to reception the first law of reception is perception and discernment who is speaking over you he said he that receives a prophet in the name in the office your husband your wife can be that prophet and you can receive them in the name of a relative you will not receive a prophet's reward receiving in the name of a relative no whatever name blesses you comes with the rewards that that match the name are we together now yes he said blessed is he who comes in the name of our god he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward you must receive most times you see i hate to teach this but people have manipulated members with this and tried to make themselves look like superhuman for nothing this is not what we are teaching but i submit to you you will never receive from people once your perception is this ordinary person that it does not work no it doesn't work it's against the law of transference there must be that spiritual potential difference and without all contradiction the bible says the lesser the lesser is not the weaker the lesser is the one who is in need of that higher grace when jesus even though he was the word he had to submit to the ministry of john the baptist to be ordained into ministry if not even as the word his heavens were closed and that door did not open it took his understanding the protocol of the anointing jesus as the word walked under a closed heaven for 30 years not even his being the word opened his heavens when his heavens opened in three and a half years it was done speed comes when doors open you're a businessman here please listen because a lot of business people believe men of god don't know what they are saying they just believe that all we do is preach you may not be right trust me ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 we're about to pray ezra 6 14 let's read together one to read and the elders of the jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel now God commanded it but it did not happen automatically the Bible says they prospered till they finished not because of their architecture while they were building there were two mysterious prophets who were sending words so if they ask you what are the raw materials it takes to build and finish 
don't mention skill alone make sure you add prophecy prophecy has the power to insist that you finish you finish some of you have started things that will never seem to finish but God wants to grant you the finishers anointing champions finish they don't just start they finish it says I have fought a good fight I have finished the race I have finished the race I have finished the race can we pray let me start by declaring the grace for favor mysterious in its walking can open the hearts of men and cause them to treat you favorably the proof of favor is not money no the proof of favor is access to the hearts of men because when you have access to the hearts of men you have access to their resources you have access to the credibility and everything that they represent i stretch my hands in the name of jesus standing upon the graces that are here present and i speak over someone i don't know where you are you came to church this morning crying for the manifestation of the favor of god in your life in the name of jesus the son of the living god the one who gave gifts to men after he ascended from on high i declare let favor rest upon you 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 in business let it rest on you in your home let it rest on you in ministry let it rest on you in the mighty name of jesus christ favor now i want to declare over doors the bible says that some doors can be demonic a great door and an effectual is open before me he says and many are the adversaries there are doors that you don't need keys because they are not metallic objects they are spirits that have decided to stand as an impedance to your life your ministry and your business for such doors he says if you shall say to this mountain not be open be lifted and thrown into the sea get out of my way to be thrown into the sea i want to declare over someone that every spirit that has been assigned assigned over your life assigned over your ministry it says i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us we declare in the name of jesus that spirit is banished from your life that demonic influence is banished from your life by the power of the holy ghost and in the name of jesus christ doors when he stood before the tomb of lazarus even though he had been dead for three days he told the men roll away the stone so it is men that roll the stone jesus performs the resurrection calling out from one realm to another but rolling away the stone and losing the man is the responsibility of men i want to call the men that will be used by god to roll away any stone stones of shame stones of reproach there are men who must be called by god in the name of jesus i decree and declare every stone that must be rolled away for resurrection a coming out from the dead to life to happen in your life i command that you enjoy their ministry now you enjoy their ministry now you enjoy their ministry now and when he called forth lazarus the bible says lazarus came out 
but he was bound hand and feet when a man comes out resurrection has happened he left the door of death to life but he still cannot be effective because when your hands are bound no productivity when your legs are bound no movement advancement and productivity are the ministry of the hands and the feet that was why when they caught samson the first thing they bound remember was his hands and when a miracle came it affected his hands first and then he took the jawbone of a donkey and killed three thousand philistines for many of you you may have come out you are not dead but your hands are bound your feet is bound no advancement and no productivity he said lose him and let him go that is the ministry of the prophetic to lose so that you can go i stand by the god who has sent me and in partnership with the graces here i decree and declare everyone's productivity that has been bound by witchcraft bound by all kinds of demonic things i decree and declare in the name of jesus be loose now your hands are loose to be productive your feet is loose to be productive in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah lose him and let him go lose that business and let it go i'm prophesying lose that home lose that husband lose that wife in the name of jesus christ we're about to take the communion shortly And let him go it's the ministry of the prophetic lose him they covered daniel inside the lion's den when the king came he asked the men open him and bring him out it takes men to help men come out of certain dungeons and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god the king there are kings that need to send for you to leave some doors and enter some doors I speak over the north, the south, the east, and the west of this nation and this city. In the name of Jesus, everyone who represents a captain of industry, everyone who sits upon any position of influence that must send for you, I command enjoy their ministry right now. In Nehemiah chapter 2, when you read from verse 1 to 8, we are not reading... But just for reference, the Bible talks about a man called Nehemiah who was the cup bearer of the king. And without asking any question, the king saw his countenance because the favor of God was upon him. He said, Nehemiah, you are not sick, but why does your heart look troubled? And he says, oh king, it is because the Jerusalem wall has not been built. I am here serving, but my people are suffering. And he said make your request and he made a request that you'll be given a time off and that letters be written to all the governors and the king satisfied his heart desire and gave him timber and everything that he needed to build and he went to build and there were two mysterious men who came as doors to close his his what he was doing called sambalat and tobias the bible says when these men heard of the favor that he secured with the king they were aggrieved but he used a strategy to build and this is a strategy all believers must use to build with one hand he built but with another hand he held the sword you don't build with two hands with one hand you are doing the business but with another hand you secure your spiritual connection this is how we build walls hallelujah now please listen we're about to take the communion do you know why the communion does not work for many people because for many people they are taking wafers and a drink unfortunately the power in this communion is not just in the materials we are taking but the revelation that supports what we are doing hallelujah the bible speaking about jesus said that same night that when he came with the disciples there are two sacraments that were left with the church theologically speaking the sacrament of the baptisms and the sacrament of communion and all of them have the mysteries that they play in the life of the believer hallelujah well if if the communion will go around you can we can go ahead sir okay so 
we'll distribute it now and then we're going to pray listen paul was speaking to the church in corinth and paul made reference even though he was not there by revelation it was given to him how that that same night the bible says jesus took bread and he broke it and said take eat this is my body he didn't say this is like my body he says take eat this is my body in theology we call it the doctrine of interpenetration this is the mystery by which two entities become one that is the same thing that happens even in marriage that two people who are separate become one recognized in the spirit are we together and then he, he took of the blood and he says this is my blood of the new testament and he says do this as often as you will in remembrance so if you do it as often and you don't remember the remembrance bring to memory what is the significance of the communion now theologically speaking according to ephesians 1 2 3 the implication of our being in christ there are three prophetic implications number one is our oneness please do not forget this what does it mean to be one with christ we have become partakers of his life are we together yes in ancient times they adumbrated this in a mystery called the salt covenant where two people who wanted to come into covenant everybody will bring their portions of salt and they will mix it together the condition for that relationship to be broken is everybody must hand pick their portion of salt out that is the kind of relationship that we have so regardless your foundation regardless whatever you are connected because the life of the flesh is in the blood and sin comes through the blood is that true and every curses and everything comes through the blood but right now he that is joined to christ the bible declares is one spirit so the first revelation of the communion is that you are reenacting in remembrance and by this mystery your oneness with christ ephesians 6 10 amplified says it says finally brethren be strong in the lord the amplified rendition says draw your strength from your unity with him your oneness with him there is an implication to your being one with christ number two is your positional advantage the bible lets us know that he that cometh from above is above all and paul was mentoring the church in ephesus he says we've been exalted with christ and we've been made to sit far above thrones dominions is that true and every name that is named not only in this world but even in that which is to come number three he said i am the vine and ye are the branches is that true and because you are connected to me he said every branch that does not bear fruit my father will prune so that it will bear fruit that means fruitfulness and productivity results john chapter 15 and verse 8 he says herein is our father glorified that he bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples verse 16 says you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain lasting fruit as a result of your oneness so we're taking this communion reenacting the mystery of the bread of jesus and the body listen he said i am the bread that came from heaven your fathers ate the manners and there were no more but that he called himself the living bread and then because the life of the flesh is in the blood if we partake of his blood and then we have his life in truth he that does not eat of my flesh and does not take of my blood he said is not part of me as we take this i want you to expect every sickness in your body that is not of Christ everything that Jesus paid for you have a right to claim it even through the mystery of the communion is that true and then the revelation of your exalted position I'm exalted above and beyond the situations that make me cry above seated with Christ not standing waiting to be seated we are seated already hallelujah so father we thank you for this mystery here at Rogic we thank you for the honor of partaking in your body and the bread and we declare by the power of the holy spirit that as we take of the bread in jesus name we declare that the mystery of your body we are members of this body and the bible says for not discerning the body some are weak some are sick and some do sleep we have discerned your body therefore lord we declare that weakness 
sickness and untimely death is far from our life in the name of Jesus we can now take the bread and then please do take the cup and after that may I request that you take a minute and just begin to pray and declare everything that the word of God says concerning you Someone pray for one minute. Begin to declare. I discern the Lord's body in the name of Jesus by the mystery of the bread and the mystery of the cup. Satan, you have no power over me. Someone is praying. One minute, please. Very quickly. Called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation, disconnected from the limitations of ancestry by the blood, disconnected from yokes, all the limitations that come through the limitations of bloodline out of my life by the power of the Holy Spirit, exalted with Christ, seated with Christ, reigning with Christ, declaring like Christ, excelling like Christ. For as he is, so are we even now here in this life. Are you praying? No untimely death. 2023. Hear my voice. Someone is declaring. In the name of Jesus, because he lives, I live. I reject untimely death. I reject sickness. My organs function perfectly from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Close doors open. Greater doors open. Access to favor. Access to wisdom. The life of God is at work in me. By the power of the Holy Ghost. No enchantment. No divination. Drives over my life. hallelujah hallelujah now we're wrapping up thank you for your patience listen to me we just took the communion what I believe in the power of life the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 and verse 1 it says there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus it says who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit it says for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath set me free from the law of sin and death there are people who came to church today and two categories in one I'd like to make that call you're here and you're saying apostle I came for this conference and whilst hearing you speak the Holy Ghost began to convict me as touching my relationship with Jesus Christ this is a kingdom that functions on relationship relationship is the basis for everything in this kingdom and you are saying I want to make my ways right probably you were invited and there are those who are saying apostle I love Jesus but as it is right now my life has gone haywire I need a restoration I need to rededicate my life I'm going to make an altar call there has to be someone here who wants to make it right with Jesus and I don't want you to sit down waiting for someone to be the first to come you need to make this decision as I make this call I want you to quickly come and stand right in front of me I lead you to pray and then we're done I begin my counting now I'll count one to five wherever you are you are saying apostle I truly want to make it right with Jesus now you can sit back and pretend like everything is all right or you can respond to the nudging of the spirit and say this is the moment now begin to come begin to come there's someone here who needs to make it right with Jesus whether you are at the back and then for those falling online by the way you are falling online and you are saying I need to make this right with Jesus this is an opportunity I'm going to lead you to pray are there any persons please make your way gallantly right now to the front because I want to pray with you this life that I have is the life of God in me 
this life that I have come is the life of this life that I have is the life of Christ in me this life that I have are you still coming? Is there someone still coming? Come and join him very quickly. So way, so way, so way, so way, so way, so way. Let's sing it one more time. This life that I have is the life of Christ in me. This life that I have. It's the life of God. This life that I have is the life of Christ in me. This life is the life. So we, so we. joining them join them quickly I want to pray now thank you for the courage thank you so much for making this declaration Jesus said as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away hallelujah if there are any persons coming please make it very quickly very quickly so that we'll now pray I salute all of you look at our lovely children even coming to make this decision for Jesus I think we should give them a big God bless you hallelujah the bible says in john chapter 3 and verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his then only begotten son now his first begotten of we the brethren he says that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting the word there is not everlasting life everybody has everlasting life are we together the life we have been given is a superior life god's own life not just the kind of life his own life hallelujah this is what we have been given so i salute all of you my brothers and my sisters for making this decision may i please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender and for those who are connecting from across the world following online here is an opportunity to make jesus lord of your life say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i have heard your word i love you with all my heart i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my lord my savior and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i'm a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.